Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be going over the Learn Worlds gamification. More specifically, where I'm going to be talking about the Learn Worlds badges. So this is going to be a feature that is still in beta, as you can see right here in front of the screen. If you want to get to it, you're going to be going to settings in the gamification engine. It says let your learners win badges. Take advantage of the addictive power of gamification. Motivate your learners to stay more, achieve more, and buy more. So all you would really need to do here is check off the enable gamification engine and click on save. Going through down here, you're going to see some of the accolades or badges that your users or audience can get. We have newbies here. Active member is going to be someone who has 10 or more social actions in one month. Appreciated members who have 30 or more yeah from others. Members who have created 30 or more favorites. Members who have answered to polls five or more times. Members who have created 20 or more comments. Members who have shared 10 or more posts and comments with more than three yeah and best of each. Members who have created 20 or more posts. Members who have shared 20 or more posts and comments with more of the five best of each. Members who have 30 or more followers. Members who have created 20 or more notes. Members who have shared five or more links. A pollster is who have shared five or more polls, more than 50 votes each. We have spammy members who have five or more report abuses. Jeez, I don't think you want to get that one, right? I think if they have that one, you should probably remove them. So members who have at least one post with more than 20 best of. And VIP members who have 100 or more best of on their posts and comments. So something about this is right off the bat. I know it is still at beta. Uh, it would be cool if you could use your own and then upload your own um, badges for this to be more specific, obviously, especially if you're utilizing your brand and so on and so forth. And just to kind of give you an idea when you are in the community, and I just posted a bunch of times, you're going to see the achievements are going to be right here. And really, depending on what your community is all about, I think it would be cool to edit this. You know, instead of having this specific badge, if you're talking about software, we can utilize different uh, accolades or badges that are going to be related to that or, you know, like super achievements, especially with a lot of these. If you get a community, uh, I have a feeling a lot of people are going to really fly by a lot of these because they're not too difficult to get. But you usually want to have those ones that are going to take a long time. That's really going to help with the gamification. If you think about it with like Xbox and PS5 and all that stuff is that some of the accolades that you get can literally take a year to achieve and people love those. It really helps them stick on as it talks about the addictive power of gamification. So a lot of these can be done real quickly. Just kind of my overview of that, but it's cool they have them. I'd like to see that, you know, increase and get a little bit better after being out of the beta mode. But Hope this helps you out. This is some of the ways that you can gamify using Learn Worlds. If you'd like to check them out, I will leave my link down below in the description. They do come with a free trial. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.